What's up everyone? I've got a big announcement regarding the BioLane Foundation. Uh, I am happy to report that uh, our board has gotten together and uh, deliberated over the, uh, the submissions we got and uh, we are going to award uh, the lab of Dr. Abby Smith Ryan, in particular the application or the, uh, the proposal by Eric Trexler, her graduate student, uh, funding. And uh, what's really cool, is, is, as some of you know, already know, the BioLane Foundation was started uh, in order to get funding for the next generation of scientists who are interested in studying um, research that will lead that will benefit uh, the fitness industry. Uh, so Eric's research and his proposal was very very cool. Uh, he actually wants to travel uh, and look at competitors specifically. Eric, he's doing his masters uh, at UNC in Dr. Abby Smith Ryan's lab. But what's cool about Eric is he is a competitive bodybuilder as well, and he wants to go to shows uh, and get and have competitors sign up and get like the the week of the show and the day before the show get like their met resting metabolic rate done, uh, some blood work, uh, body composition measurements, that sort of thing, and then he's going to track them uh, at different various time points post competition because there's. There, while there's not a lot of research done on bodybuilders, and he's also known as bodybuilders uh, and figure, uh, I believe. Uh, there's there's a lot of research done on, uh, well, not a lot of research done on bodybuilders or physique competitors, but the research that is done is usually leading up to competition, and there's not really anything I know of that studies the post-competition period. And I know Eric's very interested in, in seeing that um, a lot of people tend to uh, have this this phenomenon we've discussed in previous BioLane video logs about body fat overshooting. Um, and so he wants to look at, uh, you know, what was their calorie intake, uh, how long did it take them to, you know, people who, people who stayed leaner uh, post-competition versus those who gained more body fat, you know, who, um, what characteristics did each have, you know, that sort of thing. So, uh, I mean, it's a very, very small step uh, but it's, uh, it's, you know, research moves slow. And, uh, but I think it's a very important step to observe uh, what happens with competitors and see uh, what data we get back. And this will hopefully uh, positively impact the, the fitness community, which I, I think it really will. So uh, I could not be more excited. Uh, I, I want to thank Maggie Kuhn uh, and all the members of the BioLane Foundation board who were involved in this process. Uh, one of the cool things about the BioLane Foundation, uh, we do not, nobody on the board, myself, nobody takes a salary. 100% um, of the money that goes into the BioLane Foundation is going to be paid out to research, period. There is not going to be any money taken out for myself, for anybody else on the board. So for those of you who donate and those of you who are interested in donating, um, you can be confident that 100% of the money you put in is going to go to benefit uh, this research. So if you would like to know more about how to donate, you can go to my website, biolane.com, and click on the About tab, and there will be a tab for the BioLane Foundation, and there's instructions there on what you can do to donate. Uh, on that note, I also, uh, I as many of you know, I pledged uh, to donate $1.00 for every pound that I totaled at USAPL Raw Nationals. And I'm happy to report that it was a very expensive uh, meet for me. <laughs> uh, I broke my uh, meat PR by 44 pounds and totaled 1,725 pounds. So I uh, donated $1,725. Uh, again, very expensive meat for me, but uh, I'm happy to have it, have it come out that way. So uh, I hope that um, more of you will will donate as well, um, and, uh, and and see uh, the benefits that come from this from the long term. And I hope many of you will apply as well. Uh, we're going to have some more news coming up. Uh, even though our big grant for the year has been given out, uh, we're also going to have smaller travel grants for students who uh, want to present their research at scientific conferences. So stay tuned for that. We'll have information up regarding that. And uh, I'm just really excited about the direction of the BioLane Foundation 
and I want to thank those um, who have donated, who have supported. Uh, truly appreciate uh, your support. It'll make a huge difference for, for these students looking for funding. And uh, ultimately, uh, if you want studies done on bodybuilders and on the fitness industry in particular, this is what has to happen. A lot of people complain, oh, well, that study wasn't in competitors. And, well, here's your chance. Here's your chance. Because money for research does not fall from trees, unfortunately. Um, it's very difficult to get funding. And so by donating to this foundation, uh, you can be sure that you're going to be putting your money towards something worthwhile. So thank you guys very much. Um, I appreciate all the support, and we will keep you all updated. And congratulations to Eric uh, and Abby's Lab for being the first uh, research selected uh, for the BioLane Foundation grant.